Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Trigger. This is what you guys voted for, and I'm very excited to play it with you. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert of Chrono Trigger at all, but hopefully we can get a pretty solid playthrough here together. Um, I do know some about the game, but I'm, like I said, no expert. But anyways, let's jump into Chrono Trigger. This game is famous, famous, famous for good reason. Um, so if you haven't come across this game before, I think it'll be very interesting for those of you that haven't. It's a classic JRPG. We'll get into all of that later. As far as the version that I'm playing, for those of you that are worried or wondering about that, it is the version that is on Steam. So I believe it is as updated as possible as this game can be. Now, here is our controls. Cool, sick. We'll figure that out later. Active, we'll keep battle on for right now. Original or high resolution? Hmm, we'll go with high resolution and then we'll see. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that. So we can name your character whatever you'd like. I am going to keep him Chrono. The other characters I do end up kind of renaming a little bit. Let me know what your guys' opinions are down below on that. Well, it's, it's going to happen this episode, actually, anyway, so. But I do like to keep Chrono as the main. Yes, and here is the world of Chrono Trigger. The art style of this game is very unique. It's actually, um, the, most of the characters were designed by the same guy that did Dragon Ball, which kind of makes sense, obviously. Look at Chrono, and you can tell that he kind of looks like a Dragon Ball character. He kind of looks like Goku. So you can kind of tell. It looks like there's some kind of celebration going on in the fair down there. What possibly could it be? <laughs> Chrono. Chrono! Chrono, are you still sleeping? Hmm? Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Dear me. I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. You must be so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you better not let that giddiness get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Hmm, there's a fair or something. Come on now, out of bed with you. For those of you that haven't seen the, me do these kind of series before, it is definitely... I mean, they're they're just a different style, you know? This isn't going to be an Ashton Pack J game. This isn't an Among Us kind of stream. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be... Oh, hello. There we go. Just kind of exploring the music in this game. Top tier. So I'll kind of go quiet for a little bit, let you take it in it's about time by the way you're gonna go see oh dear what was her name the young inventress friend of yours so Luca is her name traditionally I end up giving these guys a lot of nicknames from Breath of Fire series because it is my favorite series ever so hopefully you don't mind that I end up naming her Momo and so that's what we would refer to her as from this point forward hopefully you're okay with that Momo. That's right, Momo. You're gonna stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along then and be back before dinner. Sure, mother. Hello, kitty. The cats in this game, just like Hogwarts Legacy, we are going to be petting every cat we can. It's always nice to just kind of like look around here, see what you can do. This is the world map, so we can kind of go into some of these houses. It's hard to believe our kingdom has stood for a thousand years now. Our king is a 33rd descendant of the throne of Guardia. It's a miracle he can manage to rule the kingdom when he can't even keep his own daughter in hand. She's probably throwing a fit at the castle this very moment, demanding he let her go to the fair. Hmm. Sounds like uh, the princess of this kingdom is a little unruly. We've never heard of that before, have we? That girl Momo was over in the square going on about how she made a discovery of a lifetime. Well, we better go support her. Something tells me I'm as happy as now as I'll ever be. That's kind of a nice thought. I always, like, the NPCs in this game are always very thoughtful, too. Here's the market. Visit our stall in Lean Square. Yeah, they're out. Because, obviously, this is happening. Mayor's Manor, hello. Hello, is this your first visit? Would you like me to tell you about this house? Sure. Our mayor has a soft spot for adventurers. He has established his manor as a library for adventuring know-how. The contents of the chest in the house were placed by him for adventurers to use. Feel free to take anything you'd like. Oh, we will. You can run by using the directional buttons. Hold down B. Yes, like... I actually, I think I have auto run on, so it's fine. 
so this is actually all just like a tutorial house and we don't necessarily need that so we'll do that later 100 G's thank you want me to share some insight sure I can tell you your potential or text oh yeah 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 we'll go over that later like I said most of the, this is like a tutorial house if you have no idea what you're doing go ahead and come and talk to everybody in here otherwise just grab this potion and this hundred G and get the heck out of here because you have me to help you with all the mechanics and stuff and hopefully you kind of are playing and you'll figure out some of it yourself as well um sure Mm, we'll hear this eventually. Ah, oh, this game is so good. And the music. The music. Um, no, I wasn't there for that. You're the oblivious one. Okay, well, never mind. So here's something of note. This box was handed down for generations. But it's sealed shut. So we can't do anything with those now, but it is an important thing to kind of remember where those are throughout the game. So just kind of write that down, put it in your back pocket, and we'll, we'll move on from there. But let's go ahead and head up to Lean Square. You can kind of look around here, these more areas if you wanted. Oh, I guess we could go to Momo's house, huh? There's not much to see at Momo's house. Um, she's kind of a wreck, but we love her, like Momo's cool. Here's her mom. Oh, hello, Chrono. Mama's off at Lean Square with her father, Taban, unveiling her new invention. Yeah, so they both went off to the new thing, and we are just chilling in here. I don't think there's even items or anything. But, like, it's cool to know where Momo's house is and what they do. We haven't even really officially met them, but we've heard that they're our friend. We can't cross the bridge down there, and we can't really go through this forest. Just trust me when I say so. Um, so the next place to go to is Lean Square. Hello. Today is the 1,000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Enjoy the festivities. I surely would if I were your age. I'm sure you would. This is Lean Square. Legend has it that the people who hear Lean's bell live happily ever after. Um, you can buy some stuff here. There's nothing... I wouldn't right now. Just save your money. Um, and then here's an item shop. Same thing. Just save your money for right now. I hear Momo and her father have put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. And the winner of the last race was Cadillac. Try and guess the next winner? Sure. Um, let's go for Green Ambler. So that's the alien. And so they'll race or whatever, we'll, and then we'll see. Oh. Hello. Melchior the Swordsmith at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Sure, man. He has some stuff. Save your money. Damn, I don't think we won. Cadillac, you better hurry it up. Damn. Um, sure, let's guess Green Ambler again. Not that it really matters, but you'll see. Hello? This kingdom's been through some hard times, like the war against the fiend lord 400 years ago. You should be thankful things are so peaceful now. I guess so. Those runners are busy racing, so they won't answer you if you talk to them. That's true. Line up with your bell and press this. Yes, okay. Who did I vote on again? The Green Ambler? Oh, good. Oh, no, not the knight. No, not the knight taking him at the last second. Oh, wait, G.I. Jogger was way here already. Shit, they were battling for last. I'm keeping with the Green Ambler. Um, hello. Yes, yes, yes. I probably won't sit and read all of them. Oh, this place is ridiculous, too. The Tent of Horrors. We don't have any points to do anything with yet, but... Hello. Alright, well, we're not gonna win. You just get, like, items and dumb stuff if you do that. Alright, so there's this girl here. Hello? Hmm. Let me see how many... Yeah, I don't have any. Sure. Oh, wait, no. Opposite. I wanted to do the opposite. Hello? My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always... Yes. Go straight ahead if you want to try your hand at Momo's bipedal robot. We'll actually try that later, but... I stole the man's lunch. I don't think I should have done that, actually, but I did. Hello? Your cat ran away. Okay, let's go get her kitty. Which is over here. 
I think you're supposed to do like all the nicest things possible. Um, but you know what? It's fine. This is our own unique playthrough. We're not going to pretend like we're going to be doing a perfect playthrough here. We're going to be doing some naughty things, but returning the kitten to this little girl is something that we can we can manage to do. <clears throat> no, your kitty's right here. No problem. Oh god. Yeah, we can try it. I'm not very good at this. Mash, 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 Keep mashing. Keep mashing. Not bad. Okay, cool. Nothing in there. So we can drink well. Oh, yeah, and then here's a dance. A prehistoric dance. Hmm. How do they know what prehistoric dances are like? Let me stop. Let's, uh, let's continue. Hello? Oh, okay. Gossip? Oh, well, never mind. No, well, fuck you then. Goodbye. Who are you? Oh. Ouch. Oh. No, you're okay, girl. Are you are you good? I think I fucked that up. Hold on. No, no, never mind. We're good. So now we're gonna go pick up her pendant for her. Hello. Thank goodness. Yes. No problem. Of course you can have it back. Um, you must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around here alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure. Yahoo! This will be fun. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's a uh, um, and I like to name her Nina. Another Breath of Fire reference. And that's just what I like to do. So, it's Nina, and you're Chrono. Wait, what a nice name. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Let's enjoy the fair. Let's do it. So one thing that we can do, which I like to do over here. Hello? I, yes, yes, yes. We'll leave the lunch. And we can go fight this thing up here with Nina. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. We, this is Gato. So yeah, we're going to fight him to earn points. Hello? And this is our introduction to the battle system. So it's pretty active, so I'm gonna have to do it pretty quick here. But pretty much we have attack, tech, and item. Nobody has any tech, so we're just gonna kind of attack for right now. And then we'll go for items. But pretty much everybody kind of has the, it's ATB, active time battle, for those of you that don't know. Um, so you'll pretty much just be attacking during this attack, during this fight. Oh, and it will sing to us again. Hello, Gato. Um, so you have to put in your moves pretty quickly, but then the animations kind of stop everything. So that wasn't too bad. We weren't earned a tech point. Beat it up pretty easily. Yes. Thank you for the 15 points, Gato. So that's not too bad, and you can kind of use that to grind points. This is the main menu. I guess we haven't gone over that. Um, so it has, like, the basic things, equipment, inventory, text, all that stuff. I know you guys can't see, like, my money or anything because my whole face is in the way. But if it ever becomes an issue, I'll just take my face away for half a second to show you. But it's fine. You can choose your party members, certain text for everybody. So, like, as you can see, we're about to learn Cyclone, but we don't have it quite yet. Um, so just something to have as note. You can kind of change everything here. You can change your battle mode from active to timed if you wanted, but I kind of like it where it is now, so we'll do that. It's the traditional way to play the game. But anyways, we're going to move on. Hello. Oh, are we supposed to... Let's go enjoy more of the square with Merle. Oh, she's not Merle. She's Nina. Sorry. Her original name is Merle. Merle. Hello. Um, no, thank you. We're not going to look at your stuff. Um, is there any way that you could talk to that young lady? Um, no. We're not going to do that, sir. Should we bet on this race? Let's see. Cadillac coming in at last place, interestingly enough. We're going to go ahead and bet on Cadillac this time. Let's hope that little kitty goes fast. 
Yeah, like I said. Oh, Momo's device is all set up there. Now we can go straight to the square. Well, we could do that here in a minute. I guess we could go into the House of Horrors. I don't really like that place, but we should probably show it off. Just because it's only, like, really at this point. Come on. Of course, the Green Ambler freaking wins the one I'm usually rooting for. Whatever. Hello. Welcome to Nornstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine-tingling show is just about to start. How many silver points would you like to spend? Do I have 40? Oh, I don't have enough for that, so let's do the 10 one. Okay. I'm Biggs. I'm Wedge. I'm Piete. Which one is Biggs? I think he's... You're Biggs. I'm Biggs. Yes. Yay, and you get a Poyoza doll, so it'll spruce up your room in your house where your mom is, and then you can do challenges like that for each silver points. We don't have that many silver points right now, and I guess we could go fight What's-His-Face. It's maybe not a bad idea to fight this machine a little bit more for some extra points. I do think that, yeah, it doesn't heal you. You can heal yourself with that guy's lunch, but it's not kosher. But let's go ahead and just jump into the other stuff. It's not a huge deal to me. If you guys want me to go back, I mean, it's not. we're pretty close to the start of the game, so if I had to make a new game just to show that off, we could. Just a minute, I want to get some candy. Oh, okay. So when she's getting candy, just be patient. Don't hit any buttons. Don't do anything that's important, I promise. Just let her do her thing. It'll happen. It'll pass, okay? But we just need to be nice to Nina. Excuse me, I'd like one of these. Sure, young miss. Thanks for waiting. No problem, Nina. Alright, let's go check out what Momo's been up to. Step right on up. Any with the time and courage. Our first ever hyper-dimensional transporters in the adventure of this is the advent the invention of a century. Jesus Christ. Simply hop up here. And you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Momo. Momo. Momo's pretty smart. What does teleport mean? Momo invented this thing? Wonder what'll go wrong this time. Oh, the shade. This contraption is supposed to transport objects in a blink of an eye. Hi, Momo. Chrono! I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this will be fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop up into the left pod. Okay, Momo, we're trusting you. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Oh, oh. They yeeted me across. Momo is a great inventor. Oh, amazing! Yeah, that was pretty cool. Good job, Momo. So, how was it? Want to try it again? It, it worked! Unbelievable! They never... Uh, as I was saying, Momo has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. A thrilling display of science at its best. That looks like fun! I want to try it too. Huh? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? It's alright, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait here. Don't run off on me. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way! I'm not afraid. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports to the platform. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Hmm? What's with the music change? What's with my voice crack? Jesus. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? Um, that doesn't look good. Uh-oh. And she left the pendant behind? Oh, this is extra not good. Nina? 
Where are you going? Um, that's a problem. You guys literally just lost my date. Momo, she's not reappearing. Well, alright. As you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, forks. Folk, forks. Folks, move along. I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm so sorry. Oh. What just happened, Momo? Where is she? The way she disappeared, that couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared and the way her pendants seemed to be reacting to it, something else must have caused it all. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. The way she disappeared. Oh, yeah. So let's get her pendant back. And, uh, I guess we'll go after her. Chrono! Oh, you're going after her? What a fine lad. I mean, she was my date. It's the only way. I don't know where the hole leads. Oh. Mmm. But we've got no other choice. Let's just hop in. I hope it opens again. Well, it's worth a shot. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it. Chrono, embrace yourself. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. So yeah, we are the big villain. I'm villain, villain, the big hero here. Jesus. I don't know what's happening to me today. Somebody used the power block on me. Roger. Here we go, Chrono being the big hero of the day. There, I think we did it. We do be transferring. Looks like we took the pendant with us. Maybe it's because we knew what was happening. Good luck, Chrono. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. Okay, yeah, we'll just go help her with whatever. Oh. Oh, trippy warning. This is the rave part of the game. No, this is just us traveling through time. Don't worry about it. I mean, what did I say? Um, hello? Seems like we're... We're in a weird place. Ooh, battle time. So, here we're gonna be able to fight some blue imps. And they shouldn't be able to mess with us too much. And we should be able to kill them pretty much relatively easily. I know that I didn't heal after the robo fight, but whatever. Like I said, we should be A-OK -okay here. And if we're not, well, it is what it is, I guess. Right? I mean, we can only do what we can do. Nice, three tech points. So that kind of helps go towards earning what we can. Doesn't seem like we leveled up yet, which is kind of rude, but whatever. So these areas are interesting. I'm glad that we're getting into an area like this in the first episode. Alright, and so they dropped off some more imps. It's fine. We'll just cut them. This is why I kind of suggested that you didn't spend any money on items or anything like that, because it's like, is it necessarily worth it? I don't know. Eventually, I'll probably cut out battles just like every other kind of RPG game that I do with you guys, but for right now... Oh, we, there we go. We got a level and we learned Cyclone. When I get a level, do I heal? I don't. Alright, that's good to know. Well, we'll go ahead and use our potion then. It's not like it's a huge deal. It's like not let there we go. I was like, it's like not letting me run for a second, but it is now. We got a power glove, which I think is something useful that I want to give to Chrono real quick. So it's gonna increase his strength where this headband just increases speed by one. Um, so as you can see, everybody gets a weapon, a helmet, a armor, and then ex one accessory. So just something to kind of keep in mind. I'm gonna go with the power glove on Chrono though for jerseys. And we also did learn a new tech, so let's go ahead and show that off, because in our tech we got Cyclone. If we actually hit this middle guy, we're gonna hit them all. This is a great way for Chrono to kill a bunch of stuff early game. Because just like that, we're good. It's gonna take up MP, and you can only use it so many times in between level ups and stuff, but it's a nice little tool to have, in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and move down here. So now, wait a minute. This looks just like the other map, except... Isn't Lean Square supposed to be here? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Here's the inn. We were... This isn't the inn. Hello? You look different than before. Is there an auto-run function, and do I already have it on? I 
doesn't look like there's an auto run function, so I need to just... I guess it's like a toggle. Rooms. Yes, we'll go ahead and get a room just because we need to be healing and stuff anyway. Hey, there's that another one of those boxes, but we can't do anything with that. So like I said before, just kind of keep that in the back of your head. Where are you? You say you're in, are you some sort of a simpleton? Even a half witch should know this is the land of Guardia. Our kingdom wages war with the Fiend Lord's army day and night, fighting to restore the realm's peace. What do you mean? I thought everything was peaceful. Um, no, I'm pretty sure it was peaceful. Truly? You're a wayfarer, then. I suppose you might not know if that's the case. Uh, I guess so. Oh, that guy's just chugging. Okay. Oh, praise be, they found Queen Lean wandering up in the canyon. She's been missing for so long, I feared the worst. She must be back at the castle by now, getting some much-needed rest. I think our hearts are a little more at ease now. When Queen Lean disappeared, it was all the king could think of. He thought it was the Fiend Lord's doing, but and dispatched soldiers to his four corners of the realm to find her. But she's been found, and that's all that matters. The Fiend Lord's army laid waste to the Xenon Bridge. We've lost our only road to the southern continent. Oh, that's not good. You just walked in. Hello? Toma? You're an outsider, too? My name's Toma. I'm an explorer, and if you can spare 10G to buy this round, I'll be a storyteller, too. Sure. Another bug. Cheers, friend. Well then, a promise is a promise. It's about to be the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood, and there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a hunch, but... Beg your pardon? They found Queen Lean in the canyon? Hmm, it seems my suspicions were misplaced. A cathedral in the west. Let's just keep that in the back of our heads, maybe. Hi. I'm Banta, the village blacksmith. I'm forging the spell in the king's behest. As a symbol of his love for Queen Lean, the queen's vanishing act made it. had me wondering if the work had all been for naught. After all, what's the bell without the queen, eh? But it seems they found her in the canyon up north. She's back at the castle now, and I'm back to work. That's fair. My husband wants a daughter both clever and fair. Okay. Well, you guys, you, you know how to do that, right? You know what to do there. Let's go ahead and go to this residence. Hello? A millennial fair here? Have you been into your cups? Our kingdom is only 600 years old. What? King Guardia still reigns. Last as I checked. Okay. I scarce remember the days before the war against the Fiend Lord began. The months turned to years. When will this all end? Um, I don't know, bro. I don't think I'm in the right time. Here's the market. You didn't come all this way to look, did you? Yes, yes. So now that we're here, I will go ahead and buy some potions. Just nice to have. Just like 10 of them. Nothing crazy. Um, panaceas. Let's go ahead and get just like 10 of those. Same thing. Just kind of pad what we can. Um, other than that, if you can afford the padded vest, I guess you could go ahead and get one. No big deal. And that's all we'll do. We'll go ahead and equip Chrono with that said padded vest. So cool. Other than that, you're okay. My thanks. Do it come again. Hello. So, you have a mind to buy some weapons and join the fight against the Feed Lord's army, have you? Wonderful. But remember to equip the weapons. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they're useless. Alright, well, I think we've run up on time today for this episode. This is the first episode, though, obviously. So, make sure to smash that like button for me to show your support. I hope you guys are excited, as I am. Um, and in the next episode, maybe we can figure out what the hell's going on with this whole time shift. And I don't know. I'm lost. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.